The days of finding a decent job, having a home, a car, nice clothes, money to pay bills and entertaining yourself is not enough. It's not enough because women are doing the exact same thing. So you won't wow her by taking her to a nice restaurant or on vacation or buying her gifts because she feels I can do that on my own. So your provisions, men, is good enough to take care of you, but it's not impressive at all to a woman who can provide them for herself. I was talking to my guy friend the other day. We're talking about um, just like independent women. I was telling him how one of my girlfriends, she's super independent. She does X, Y, and Z by herself. She's like such a bad bitch. Um, and she doesn't need really anyone to count on. If you're not feeding me, financing me, or fucking me, I just don't give a shit. And he goes, let me guess. I bet you she is single. To that, I'm like, why? He's like, well, historically, men have always been, you know, the caregiver, like they usually have always been that breadwinner, right, type, type sort of personality. And he goes, so that's why when women are too independent, they're too masculine and men find them unattractive. To that, I responded and I said, I think it's because 50% of men are average at best. You're nuts. Okay. And as a woman raises her bar and she, you know, she starts to provide herself that validation. She, you know, does these things for herself and she counts more on herself to become more independent. Her bar raises, meaning that the men that can match her at that level are fewer men. Crushed as I am, um, I'm sure that I will get over you long before you get over yourself. And so that is why these more independent women, you know, are typically, I guess, more single based off of what he's saying because they just haven't found someone to match them at that level yet. Maybe independent women don't like most of the men now. So if women are doing the job you supposed to do, what's the point of entering a relationship with them? I mean, if you're chasing ass, then that's about it. If you're desiring a family, they make the risk more male centered, even with the prenup. And most women will get offended at the notion. I mean, you could say, well, it's the same for high earning women, but I always wonder why Oprah never got married. She sorted a prototype for these modern women. This is what feminism wanted. No more nuclear families, unless men start helping in the home. It wasn't enough that you paid all the bills and provided food, shelter, and clothing. But come home, take care of the kid, wash the dishes, cut the grass, shovel the snow, and sometimes you can cook. It seems to me, women want men to do it all while they give only a small amount because remember the traditional woman is a slave to a man so it's over it's crazy to me that if a woman who had a father present wants a man to oh i got this i got this he said that women are basically allowed to choose men and want them to emulate their fathers and men are called crazy for choosing women and wanting them to emulate their mothers. And let me tell you the difference. I want a man that treats me the way my father treats my mother. See, you always can flip it back on them. A man wants a woman that treats him like how his mother treated his father. You see how you can flip that both ways? Hence, his wife. Y'all want y'all women to treat you the way your mother treats you that's a broad stroke because maybe for homosexuals that that's the case but for men who take care of themselves and got their own place their own job their own car their own everything independent men we're not looking for that the child that's the problem Bullshit. Because women have become the men they desire and don't need us. It's something we must accept and acclimate to. Our country will become more gender divided and more women will have kids through sperm banks than a real man. The dangerous part to all of this is some men will fall back so far out of society that the infrastructure will become shit. Why care about bridges, train tracks, fixing cars and airplanes when the only ones in society who will be happy are women?
Why keep the country running if we're only being used to keep one gender happy? That's a morbid thought, but I'm saying men's happiness is being overlooked. Women think they have the right to define what a man is, but we can't define what a woman is. It's over for nuclear families. If you really a logical thinker about the recent norms of society, genders will only care about their group and this country will become more divided. Jesus said, a nation divided against itself will fall. It's over. The simps and the betas are making Instagram models and OnlyFan girls millionaires. So men on the whole are not on cold. Even us men are divided because of race, class, or political party. It's over. All of you fornicators, enjoy your heaven for as long as you can because that's the only thing you get in, in your favor as men pump and dump so that mean body count don't matter because she's just a part of a rotation and so are you men women have become concubine or a part of a harem whether they know it or not they call it narcissism because they want exclusivity but it will never be what jay-z say i don't chase them i replace them that's what's happening that's the end game for the guys who decide to take that on that's the end game for the guys who decide to take that on i mean even wives will be cheated on because the top tier men will have so many options and women will be in a sex zone you know the sex zone is the opposite of friend zone friend zone is what women do to men and sex zone is what men do to women that's our modern society that's our modern world a world where marriage and birth rates will fall sharply new stis will grow and people will become lovers itself it's happening right in front of your eyes don't get me wrong, this is not me complaining or being butthurt because I've been MGTOW for a while now. It's just acceptance and choosing the red pill to see clearly what the world is offering. Men, take a deep look on the inside and figure out what happiness is without women because the juice is not worth the squeeze. Learn about life off the grid. Women will be crushed if our power grid becomes crap, but so will you goes for me too if women want equality it have to be in every aspect of life and if not we're allowing them to take advantage of what we provide to society with no reciprocation whose stupid idea was it to start putting things out about we don't need men listen let me get up close and personal with with people right now we need men to exist as women let me break it down a man is the only one who can activate the woman's true femininity. And any woman that tells me otherwise, I'm just sorry, I'm not here to listen to anyone's lies. I'm a very straightforward, honest person. And I take accountability to being a woman. And a part of us being a woman is accepting that the man is the one and the only one that can activate this chemical in our brain that kicks off when he's around, which is to be completely feminine, vulnerable, beautiful, and obedient and submissive. Only the man. What you'll find is when you cannot accept this, it's because you're being like a man. The man is the only one that can make you feel like a woman. So don't sit there and lie, please, anyone. I don't want to offend anyone, but it, unfortunately, the truth hurts, okay? The man is the only one that can activate the true femininity in a woman, okay?